big show tonight. Uh, my first guest, of course, shared his painful adolescence with us as the star of The Wonder Years. More recently, you can see him uh, in his NBC series, Working. Please welcome Mr. Fred Savage. <laughs> Fred, uh, you know, I saw you pretty recently. I guess it was New Year's Eve. Yes. I'm at a fish concert uh -huh. at Madison Square Garden. Everybody's uh, twirling, spinning around <laughs> like madmen. And then someone taps me on the shoulder. I mean, it's this giant sea of people. <laughs> and I turn around and it's you. Yeah. And it's just was kind of, it freaked me out a little bit because I know, I know you've moved on, but I always think of you as the kid on well, the Wonder Years. It freaked me out a little bit too because, you know, it was difficult to see you out of context, you know? Right. Because I didn't really have any, you know, anecdotes for you, or I didn't know really what I was going to talk talk to you about. <laughs> not really, so, not not a, not really the place where you have like a lengthy conversation. Yeah, yeah. Though. But it was I was I was kind of caught off guard because it was like, you know, kind of you know when you're a little kid and you see like um, you're at the mall and you see like your teacher, right? You know, in school and you don't really know how to react because you see them out of con. Not that you're a drag. Like, <laughs> I like seeing. Like, you know? like, That's kind of how you see me, right? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, there's old Mr. Phelps. <laughs> but, By the uh, way, how, where is your assignment, Savage? Yeah, uh, my dog, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I left it at home. Uh, but uh, it was very exciting to see you. And you met my sister. You were very, he was very nice to my sister, who, who uh, <laughs> loves the show. You were very nice. I wasn't too nice, I hope. Yeah, I was nice and cool. You uh, were nice and cool. You, uh, I, I, you, you didn't have a girlfriend there that night. I mean, do you have a steady girlfriend? No, no, I, I don't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's nothing to cheer about. <laughs> yeah. That's sort of lousy. Like, all the guys cheering. Oh, Yay! Okay, okay. His life sucks too. Yay! Yeah. 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 Were you? Uh, so loneliness group <laughs> here. Yes. Were you? Uh, I mean, because what do you do on Valentine's Day? I mean, what's your approach to Valentine's oh, Day if you don't have a girlfriend? Well, Valentine's Day has never been a good day, even when I do have a girlfriend, because it always is like the beginning of the end. Valentine's Day has always been when I have a date on Valentine's Day because it's I've always I've never heard like, anyone describe it that way. That's exactly how it is. It's Happy like, beginning of the end. It's, yeah. like, it's, like, it's like this great night and we have this lots of fun and I always, when the relationship's over, I look back and say, boy, that was really the last great time we had together. So I always I end up hating Valentine's Day. You have a sad and miserable life, I see. <laughs> yes, I do. So, uh, I mean, so this Valentine's, so this Valentine's Day, Valentine's what'd you do? Day, I, was, I just didn't want to do any, like, I just don't like doing anything when I don't, when I don't have a date. So I just wanted to, like, sit at home and you know, like, rent, say anything, you know, and, <laughs> like, eat some ice cream This is getting something. worse and worse. This, this is what I do, you know? <laughs> so my friend, my friend called me up and he's like, hey, let's go out, you know? And I said, oh, I don't want to go out, I don't have a date. He's like, no, no, you know, it's a big night to go out and meet, meet girls, big singles night. And here I felt so silly because I just thought Valentine's Day was for couples. Right. I apparently had it all wrong, you know? Or your friend is an idiot. <laughs> yeah, I think that, 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 that's, what he, that's what he is. Yeah, okay. <laughs> And his name is? <laughs> uh, but he, uh, so I, I, I'm feeling really guilty in the car ride home. I get really nervous because I don't want to be out on Valentine's Day right. with a guy at dinner, you know, like, uh, <laughs> it sounded like a great idea, but as I was driving, I was realizing I just didn't want to be there. So I got to the restaurant, I was just be like, you know, listen, I just want to go home. I don't want to deal with it. And I walk in and he's got two girls sitting with him at the table. He's like, oh, you know, we're, we're, we've been waiting for you. I'm this like, is great. He brought two women. Good well, yeah, but I was not in the mood at all. So I sat down and it turns out these two girls... You know, whenever I'm with this guy, he's a really nice guy, but strippers always come into the equation somehow when I'm with him. <laughs> so, these two girls turned out to be strippers, you know? Was that clear right away that they were strippers? Did, or... Well, no, well, you know, there was like the innocent, like, Did oh... Did she spin around a pole on her way to say hi? <laughs> it's nice to meet you, woo! She, well, she didn't have a wallet. She's had all her money in her belt. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> But she, but I, I was, you know, what do you do? And oh, I'm a dancer. And oh, that's really interesting. And then they go to the, the bathroom. And I guess my friend knew them, or re I think he recognized them from like Vegas. And so he does your friend see a lot of strippers? He does. It's see always a, lot a of sign when, when you're with somebody and they meet someone. They're like, I've seen her in a strip joint. Yeah. Well, he apparently they were old friends, you know. And so they invited him back to the table. So I didn't want to be out to begin with, let alone now with girls, with strippers, and so... This sounds like hell, buddy. <laughs> well, I don't want to, like, I'm 
was doing your story is like, I didn't want to be out at all. I didn't, I didn't then want, these beautiful women with perfect were, bodies. They, they weren't that beautiful. They were like, you know, and like the guys from the restaurant were like, you know, would you like to buy a rose for the lady? And I was like, no. <laughs> and so like, uh -huh. then there was like the photographer there to capture the romantic evening of the lovebirds. You know, photographer like, for the Inquirer. No yeah, doubt. exactly. And, like, that's, that's really a picture. That's all I need is like me with like, you know, a, a cocktail and a stripper. You know, like yeah, happy Valentine's you Day. You handing her the hundred dollar bill. It was just terrible. So that uh, was my Valentine's Day. Now, well, what's your just, what's your living situation? Is this like is this your roommate or something? This guy? You're, well, no, I actually I do have roommates. I just moved into my first apartment. Oh, good for you. So uh, right. I'm living with two two of my friends from high school. And that's kind of a big thing for me because it's a big send off, you know, leaving home. And you know, mom gave me you know lots of um, baked goods and toilet paper. And my dad gave me a tool chest, and I thought that was a real kind of like graduation to manhood. Was dad gave me this tool chest, like you're on your own, you know, enter the world armed with your socket wrench, you know, and you'll be <laughs> fine, you know. Right, so right. I, I, I've taken it upon myself to fix things now to make dad proud you know to be the man he's always wanted me to be and so we our toilet broke and so i thought this was a key opportunity for me to yeah go and fix the to toilet with the toilet right. and so uh, <laughs> wait you, you just wanted to play with the toilet you didn't you know it's really fascinating how toilet i don't know if you know how toilets work i'm not going to go into it now but really if you guys have some time it's just a Two We're running out of time. <laughs> it's, just a it's really. I've incredible. never seen someone like. Let me tell you about toilets. All right. Oh well, let me. People think toilets are nothing. Let me but. tell you, it's kind of hard. You know, I had to find some parts for the toilet. You know. What was wrong with the toilet? It was the bullcock valve, actually, which was. Uh, if you're gonna talk like that, you can leave, my friend. <laughs> you don't need. It, 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 what, what, what valve is that? It's like the lever that shuts it off and lets it know when there's enough water in the tank, you know? Let's it know. You're like, it's, all it's very, not a computer in there. No, but it's all very... Must alert, a lot bold. Of cantilevers, and it's very exciting in, inside a toilet. But <laughs> what's even more exciting... I want to take that quote out of context. <laughs> it's very exciting inside a toilet, said Fred Savage. So I, I went to... Uh, I went, this was a really amazing for me, I went to Home Depot. I had never been there before. It's a pretty amazing, I've been there. It's huge. It's the, it's uh, inconceivable how big Home Depot is. And I felt... You want to drink a water? I think... <laughs> I, I, I heard someone get, it's so funny you talk about the strippers and you're like, ah, eh, strippers. <laughs> Home Depot. <laughs> And I felt like such a, a, a man <laughs> surrounded by plywood and uh, caulking guns and anything you would want is in Home Depot. It's all there, baby. Yeah, so I spent some time there and got the thing, fixed the toilet, and now uh, I've convinced I'm a, I'm a plumber. You know, I, pl I plumb. I fix. <laughs> <laughs> you should use that in a, in a bar. What do you do? I plumb. I plumb. But the plumbers best part are gonna use that now. Is that Home Depot, the one near me? Are you trying to get free stuff sent to you from Home Depot? <laughs> no, no, that's what it sure sounds like. I don't need it anymore because I told my dad, and I think he was so excited. He, I, I talked to him yesterday, and he bought me stock in Home Depot now. So not only am I like a customer, I'm a, a part owner of the establishment. <laughs> <laughs> so. I'm very excited to go back now with this kind of new vested interest. I can't just admire it. I have to really make sure it's running smoothly. And, <laughs> and the other thing is, is it's open 24 hours. Okay, so you are so, obviously on the take from these people. No, so say like, And they have them in all your convenient areas. I'm going to open up some more. But like, you know, if you're not doing anything like four in the morning, you know, what are you going to go do? <laughs> Home Depot. Yeah, if, you're, if your friend has some hot chicks he wants you to hang out with and you want to get the hell away from that. Yeah, yeah, no. Home Depot, man. Home Depot. So I'm, 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 this ha I'm excited to be a, a handyman. <laughs> okay. Because it's not, I'm not a real, uh, you know, kind of, you know, Marlboro man, guys guy, you know? So. Oh, yes, you are. Well, you when know, it comes to fixing toilets, you're the Marlboro man. I have a blister. I have a blister, actually, which I'm very excited about. <laughs> But uh, I, I feel like now I'm, I'm more of a man that I, I'm a, uh, fix it, fix it. <laughs> well, we're going to take a break so you can calm down. <laughs> we got to get off this whole Home Depot oh, thing. Man, he's he's about to pass out. Oh. Uh, you've got a, uh, your directorial debut is coming up on Working. We'll look forward to that. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much for coming. You're, you're one of my favorite guests. You're a oh, great guy. Oh, Fred Savage, pleasure. everybody. It's a great guy to talk to. You always bring the goods. <laughs>
Now, folks, uh, Gary Marshall is uh, coming up in just a moment. But first, a reminder that tonight's show is brought to you in part uh, by Budweiser. That's right. Like I'm going to give you some, yeah. Brought to you by Budweiser, who want you to know that now is the perfect time to enjoy a brewery fresh, Beechwood aged Budweiser. Now? No, I, actually, no. That that's not a good time for a for a brewery fresh Budweiser. Hey, how about now? Now that that's really not a good time either, guy. Now is now a good time for a brewery fresh Beechwood aged Bud. Yes, it is. <laughs> Woo! Yes. Yeah.